This channel advocates for AI as an addition to human creativity, not as a replacement for human intelligence and skill. AI is a powerful tool, but it requires human guidance and polishing to be truly effective. The content presented here aims to inform viewers about the latest AI technologies and their practical applications in various creative fields. Hi, I finally remembered that I have a YouTube channel. Today, we will use the image restoration with the world model. So, a few years ago, I was typing a message on iOS to a friend. While doing this, I stumbled upon the photo emoji icon, uh, this icon. What I noticed was that despite all emojis being made with specific, simple, vector-like textures, this one was too detailed. I thought, wow, this emoji is probably used by millions of people, and there's a hidden photo inside no one knows about. The emoji we're looking at was introduced in iOS 11.2 in December 2017, replacing this ancient 4 megapixel camera icon. I decided to find out what this hidden photo and texture could be. Is it even possible to find the source image? There is definitely something hidden inside. I won't focus much on the history of emojis in the Internet era, as it's a topic well described by Internet historians. Instead, I'll concentrate a bit on Apple's role in it. At first, I thought the simplest solution would be to find an Apple designer who made that emoji. I found this medium post by Angela Guzman, one of the original emoji creators for iOS in 2008, along with her colleague Raymond Sepulveda. They created almost 500 Apple icons together. I thought they might be able to help me find out who redesigned the camera emoji in 2017. So, I contacted them both, but they never responded. Next, I reached out to some internet heavy researchers. Geogasser guy Trevor and another TikTok researcher, Yuval. But once again, no one responded. This is where I understood that only AI tools would help me with this task, as no one has ever responded to this request. People were already pointing at me like I had imagined this hidden photo at all. So I started to dig through the data. The first step was a simple task. To enhance the image, I used Neural Love's Upscaler. If you want a similar tool that's open source, search for ORSR. It will do the job. Then, after cropping out the main lens reflection, I noticed that the designer at Apple was really into the final touches and had applied a sphere effect to the source image. So I reduced it using a simple math-based filter called Pinch at 125%. Then I applied some contrast correction and finally saw a silhouette of a boy. A boy on a mounted toy red jet with a park in the background. What? After a pixel by pixel inspection of the image, I realized that Apple designers are, as usual, too detail oriented. Apparently, lens reflection are usually upside down, and this is what they did at Apple they flipped the texture upside down. After flipping and applying one more layer of diffusion enhancement, I once again use Neural.Love, but you can use the open source Supire. I got this result. Finally, I realized it was a car. It's a red car parked outside the street, probably during autumn. As you can see, this image is too damaged for classic AI restoration workflows. Theoretically, there were chances to restore this image with diffusion models, but it would have required so much manual work that I decided to use a more experimental approach on the cutting edge of AI tools called Video Generation Models. These models, while trained on data of unknown origin, can imitate the world model with some whimsical rules. They have a sense of how different universes could visually appear at a specific moment, but they have no any understanding of the physical rules governing those universes, they just pretend they are world simulations without any physics laws. 
What's useful is that these models can accept either images or text as input. Currently, there are three top-tier video generation AI models – Kling AI, Luma and Gen3. Unfortunately, there are no open-source alternatives yet, so I used the Gen3 by Runway model in my experiment. Here is an example of how Visual World Simulation works. Take a look at this PlayStation 1 image. The model tries to simulate a universe based on what it knows about source image and the textual prompt. The only information the model has is that it should be PlayStation 1 level graphics and look like old retro 3D graphics. It attempts to create a suitable visual universe where this character could exist. My initial idea was that I would upload the current hidden photo as an image and convince the video generation model that this was a defocused version of the image. I'd essentially be asking the AI, Dear AI, could you please do an autofocus on this? Long story short, I found that it's easier to convince the model that those grey areas are smoke and that the image suffers from poor focus. After a few dozen smoke dissolving videos, I discovered that old classic shouting in caps as usual works best with AI. It returned this version where it accidentally deblurred the source image in the first second, but then blurred it again. I exported focused frame and used it as a new input for the video generation model, but this time with a simple task – to refocus the image. So, after hundreds of iterations, I got this. The closest approximation of the car that could have been photographed from this point of view, which actually looks like a car. Then, using Adobe Generation Fill, I tried to simulate the surroundings of the scene and got this result. Our main candidate for the hidden photo in the Emoji Lens reflection. We cannot be sure that this is the exact car model, but the surroundings and color palette look quite close. But now, we should reverse the entire process to check how my theory fits the image manipulations. So, will the image look the same if we place it back on the lens? Step by step I reversed the process mentioned in the video. Then, I aligned the resulting image with the source and got this result. Finally, behold! This is the approximate image that the designer at Apple used and hid inside so many phones since 2017. Unfortunately, it's literally impossible to restore a more specific, detailed version or determine the car model from such low data density. So, if you're the author of this emoji, please contact me. I'm really curious to know how close I am to the original. Now, you know how to simulate a world to try to find almost non-existent data. In the next videos, I will try to use the same method to work with historical data. If you're curious about what we'll discover, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Alt to create an application.